Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing really good. So, it is now June 2nd and we are gonna go over all the books that I read in the month of May. Right, May, yes, May. May was actually a pretty good reading month for me. I read 11 books in total. Some of them I did read on my ebook and then the rest of them were physical copies. So we're gonna get into it. I was super, super proud of myself because last month was not a good reading month. Not last month, the month before April was not a good reading month. Don't know why, didn't do a lot, but that's fine. We made up for it in the month of May and we did 11 books. So I have my handy dandy Goodreads right here and we're gonna go over all of the books that I read in May. So let's get into it. So two of the books that I read in the month of May was The Apothecary Diaries and this is a series and it is a manga. I talked about The Apothecary Diaries in my manga haul and this book or series was really really good. It was so funny and it's actually really like it was super unexpected so the first apothecary diaries it was the intro to i think it's i still don't know how to pronounce her name i'm gonna say it's mao mao oh if it's not i mm, sorry if it's not but she is an apothecarist she does apothecary i'm not even gonna try and pronounce that she ends up getting promoted to being the head food taster leading waiting for one of the king's um concubines or one of his like what mistresses she solves a mystery of something that seems to be killing all of the newborns and is also making the concubines sick we go through go with mao mao as she talks a little about apothecary and then she also has like this really weird fascination with being sick and then also experimenting on herself just to build up a tolerance to the poisons and it's super super interesting because she is tasting these foods and she's kind of immune to it because she's built up her tolerance to the poison it's so funny because as she's tasting the foods she's enjoying it and people are looking at her like why is she enjoying the food and it could be poisoned but that's just one of the really funny things that i thought was interesting about the book then we have jinshi which is this very handsome man on the back of the book and he is kind of interested in mao mao because he's just like his charms just don't affect her she really doesn't give two craps about him she's like can you just go away please which i thought was funny normally main like the main character will always have some type of interest in the guy but she's really she's just like you're weird i need you to go like now overall gave the series i gave the first one three out of five because it was a little slow starting but second one i gave it a four out of five because it was way more funnier and just more dealt it just delved more into it and it gave mama a little bit more personality and you really get more into her backstory the apothecary diaries is one of the series that i read in the month of may so the next series that I read was To Catch a Killer and this is by Cheryl Scarborough. I read the first and the second book. I'm going to put the second book here. So To Catch a Killer is about a girl named Erin Blake and she is popular in town because her mother was murdered. So with Erin Blake, her mother's best friend takes her in and treats her like a daughter. And as Erin is going through high school, she really doesn't want to be known as the murder victim's daughter anymore she kind of just wants to move away from that and just have her own life so she's working on like a side mission with her biology teacher and she ends up finding her body and it just brings back all of the memories that happened with her mother because she was left with her mother's body for like three days and she is ha she has flashbacks of that so Erin is now back into the world of murder which she did not want at all but then she finds clues that could possibly be linked to her mother's killer and they never actually found her mother's killer this book i gave it a four out of five because i was just super super enthralled with like the criminology so basically like them delving more into how um dna and forensic sciences work sometimes they got a little bit too much into it for my taste it got too much into it to the point where it's just like not everybody knows what that means even if they tried to explain it there were still parts in there to where it's like you have to know what that means in order to understand what the other stuff means kind of deal but overall i really really enjoyed it i gave the first book a four out of five and i think i gave the second book three out of five i'm not sure i can't remember but you really really get into like aaron and uh, the trauma that she went through with her mother and there's a lot of things that she has buried that she doesn't really tell anybody not even her best friends and all of that starts to come to light and it really touches on how there's so much that people don't understand about trauma and people that have suffered from trauma and there's always something that they're not saying so this one it really gets into Erin's um, past and the trauma that she's hiding and it 
shows how she opens up more and she's more open about what she's been experiencing and the nightmares and everything that she's having overall i really really enjoyed both of these books i gave them a three and four stars out of five stars I really enjoyed it. I think you guys might like this one. So To Catch a Killer by Cheryl Scarborough. So the next book that I read in May was the second book and what was it? The second book of what? <laughs> it was the second book of The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane. This one it is The Secret of White Stone Gate. So the book is basically about a girl named Emmy. She gets into London to um, attend the school that her father attended but her father has been missing or pronounced dead for the I th can't remember how many years since basically since she was born I believe she's 12 or 13 now she ends up finding some medallions in the attic that her father had and while she's at school she notices that the medallions are connected to the school and she's trying to figure out why the second book gets more into it and it's the finale of the entire series so this one the only thing that I wasn't too fond of is that the characters really didn't I don't want to say grow but they didn't really basically it's just like they I feel like they didn't get any older that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like they did not get any older in the book, which I, like I said, it's totally fine. That's not terrible. But I wish that there was something new that we discovered about the characters and their personality in this book. But that's definitely not something that to take away from the book. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed it. The Secret of the White Stone Gate and The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane. Two books, super, super excellent. Bless you. I think you guys should pick up the series because I thoroughly enjoyed it. So yes, The Secret of White Stone Gate and then The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane. So the next book that I read was Spirit Hunters by Ellen O. I really liked this book. I think I gave it four out of five. I wanted to give it five out of five, but there were some things in there where I was like, eh, it didn't really, like it didn't explain too much into it. But anyways, so this book is about a girl named Ellen and her family moves from DC to Chicago. I think her family moves from like Washington DC to Chicago and Ellen is starting to notice spirits or a spirit in her house and her brother is starting to kind of change his personality and this book even there's parts where I was like dang like okay there involves a fire truck being smashed into somebody's face like a toy fire truck being smashed into somebody's face I just thought it was a little, I don't want to say it was too violent but I was like for a middle grade book I'm like that's a little violent but I loved it Ellen keeps trying to tell her parents about experiences and her mother's not really having it but she's just adamant that something is happening. Ellen keeps pushing and I really really like that aspect in the character. Ellen was adamant. She's like no I'm not crazy. I'm not making this up. This is what happened. Either you're going to believe me or not but this is what's happening and it just really talks about like family and how important it is to just listen sometimes because I know we all sometimes don't want to hear it but if somebody has something to say just push down what it is you're feeling and just listen especially when it comes to your kids I don't have kids but this book really showed how important it was for sometimes just not even sometimes all the time just listen if somebody's trying to tell you something listen so I really enjoyed that part of that book so that's why I gave this one four stars out of five Spirit Hunters by Ellen L. The next series that I read was Monstrous so I actually read volumes one two and three I'm currently working on four five and six Yes, I'm currently working on four, five, and six. So the Monstrous series, I am giving this book or some of the first series five stars out of five stars. So this book talks about a girl named Mika Half-Wolf. Mika is trying to find her mother. She's trying to find the secrets of her mother because she just left her so many clues behind on the life that Mika never knew. And she's also missing her arm from a war. So Mika faces a lot of danger and oppression and you just see so much oppression in this book. And it just really shows you how racially divided people can be and just how and just how biased people can be this series has so much mystery in it and just so much war and division i really think this is something interesting that everybody might want to try read but i gave this entire um, not the entire series but so far i've given all of the books either four out of five or five stars out of five the illustrations are absolutely stunning look at these yeah the illustrations are just absolutely stunning the detail and the art and the coloring is just so beautiful and there are some sensitive subjects in here as far as like um as far as like child abuse there there's a lot going on in this book so if you are sensitive to subjects like that please be aware that this series is not like it's not a light-hearted series whatsoever this really gets into it and it goes deep so 
I would recommend thinking about it before you pick this book up, but monstrous the entire series. I recommend you give this a go. Next book that I read in the month of May was Ghostly Things. So I talked about this book in my manga haul and I, so far I gave this book a three out of five and it was because it was uh, like, I, I liked the book. I'm reading the second book now. I liked it, but the beginning was very, very fast paced and mediocre. Oh, I hate saying that. But it was just, it was very, very fast paced and predictable in a kind of sense to where it would, there was just no excitement to me. I didn't, I feel like I didn't learn anything new and just, there was only one part where there's one character that came into where I was like, oh, well, he's up to something, he's interesting. But other than that, I didn't really see much um, mystery. I, I have been pronouncing her name wrong in the first book. I, I'm sorry, in my last video, my manga haul. Sorry, her name is Yachiho. Yachiho, yes. Her name is Yachiho. Cha, yeah. Yachiho. Yachiho. Get it right. So her father is overseas doing studies and she is staying at home, basically taking care of the house, making sure everything's fine for when her father comes home. She goes down into the basement and she sees this little creature and she follows the creature and she ends up falling into the world of the underworld where the dead pass through. And so there is a book that Yachiho is looking for and her mother passed away and she thinks that if she gets this book she will be able to talk to her mother and communicate with her mother. But there's this little creature named Moro. He's kind of cute but he's kind of scary looking at the same time. I don't know how I don't know how I feel about him but he's cute but he's kind of scary looking. He kind of he starts to kind of help her a little bit trying to find the book and everything but there's other people that are also looking for this book and there's also other creatures that are looking for this book and Yachiho starts to help Moro pass on along the spirits and the underworld and I thought the book was cute. I liked the world building. The world building was really really good. Everything started to everything built so quickly and you learned a lot of new characters very quickly as well so I thought that aspect was really really great. Mostly this book was about the introduction and meeting people which normally is what most books are about but it didn't really get into too much of the mystery. Basically the goal that Yachiho was looking for. So we know that she was looking for a book but that's about it and the rest was just meeting new characters and meeting new people. I'm gonna start reading the second book. Hopefully the second book is going to get more into what's going on But so far so good. I gave it a three out of five. Not bad. Just wasn't my favorite But the ghostly things by Yushio Shiratori. This one was pretty good, too So the next book that I'm gonna be talking about is a book called Spy Family and it's volume one and volume two I'm gonna put them right here for you because I did let my friend borrow them and the other one is on an ebook So Spy Family is about a man named Twilight He's a secret agent and his mission is to infiltrate the school so he can basically get to his target but there's a catch he has to have a daughter and he has to be married in order to get into the school so he goes and gets his daughter his daughter's name is Anya she's this cute little girl with pink hair she is the funniest thing ever because she's just so snarky and also she's kind of silly he also gets his wife named Yor and Yor is an assassin so Yor is really like her I like her personality because she's just this really really quiet person she's not much of an instigator she doesn't really let it she doesn't really cause problems or start like start drama but she's an assassin and she'll you up real quick okay i love twilight because twilight is supposed to be like it's a comedy it's a funny book there isn't much um things to learn it's just you do see a lot of development with twilight because twilight is just he has one goal in mind it's to just pass this mission and then he meets anya and he starts to he has to take care of her he still has to take care of her even if this is a mission and it's just so cute because he starts to develop a relationship with anya he really starts to care about her and you kind of see him going out of his way to make things happen for anya to make her happy and same thing with yor he really starts treating them like they're his real family the book is so cute it's super super cute and it's super hilarious five out of five stars i really enjoyed it and i'm definitely going to be buying the rest of the series because that is something you guys don't want to miss so spy family by tatsuya endo look it up the last book that i read for the month of may was wicked things by john allison so wicked things it is a graphic novel and it is about a detective or she's kind of like an amateur detective sleuth named charlotte Grote. so charlotte is a part of this little community for amateur detective sleuths and she gets invited to this award show so she's super super stoked she goes to this award show and a murder happens and what does she do she gets framed and it's so interesting because Charlotte is getting arrested for this murder and they're like, you can help us solve the case, but 
you have to be in the halfway house. I don't know what it's called in America where it's like you're in jail but you live in a house with the people and you're on house arrest and you have to be back by curfew. I don't know what it's called. She can't leave the house and solve the mystery. She has to wait until she goes back to the station but while she's there she is like she's just serving coffee and things like that but she also starts to find out other information about cases just by talking to people i don't know how to explain it i the only thing that i didn't like about this book was that you really really didn't notice a lot until the end and i, I know that's like a vague description but there's things to where it's kind of just like that it it just to me it didn't connect and even though i really read the book by the time i got to the end of it i was just like why so i gave the book three stars out of five i did not like it i didn't not like it it's just uh kind of went a different way but i'm i'm gonna give the second book a chance but i gave that book three stars out of five stars it might not have been my biggest cup of tea but i think somebody out there might like that book i'm creasing why 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 yes so that is it you guys that is it for my may wrap up i really hope you guys enjoyed the book the, 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 the I hope you guys enjoyed the books that I read in the month of May. In the month of June, I already finished one book. We're gonna, we're, I don't know if I'm gonna beat 11, but we're gonna try and beat 11 books in the month of June. So, but don't hold me to that, please, because I may or may not, I don't know, we're a little busy this month. If you guys did not know, I do have a Goodreads linked down below to where you guys can follow my reviews and look at the books that I'm reading currently, and then just catch up with me and see what I'm doing. But yes, you guys, thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my videos. I am going to plan something for two Okay, let me know what you guys would be interested in let me know what other books that you guys think that I should read for the month of June because I would really like to see that and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you all next week in my next video bye